Hey, the opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video as you recap the trade between the Ducks and the Colorado Avalanche that Drew Hellison and a second um, go to the Ducks for Josh Manson. Manson, of course, is a very good shot blocking defenseman that is a physical presence on the ice every night that can play over 20 minutes a night, where this year he almost has 150 blocks on the season. Or not 150, but that would be ridiculous. Almost has 50 blocks on the season and 120 hits. Um, he's a guy that is going to always stick up for his teammates. He's always going to get in the shooting lanes no matter how much it hurts him. And he's going to be a very solid, physical, demanding defensive defenseman as well. Basically an on-steroids version of what Racco Gudis is able to do without as much of the goon side of Racco Gudis sometimes. Uh, which is fun to watch at times, but other times not. Um, but Manson's a great defenseman <clears throat> that plays very good defensively. Honestly, he only has nine points, but compared to like the Adam Larsons of the world that are good in the defensive zone, but don't always push the puck up the ice the best, or the Erica Branches who have a very good season, but sometimes fall into a lull trying to get into the neutral zone to their full, not as much this year, but just in general, to the neutral zone to the forwards to let the forwards get up and do their thing. Josh Manson doesn't do that. Once he gets it off the tape of the attacker, he's going to be pretty good at getting it up to the Trevor Zegerses of the world, the Getzlaps of the world, the Luderstroms of the whoever he wants to get it to, to be able to get it done. That's what he was able to do. So now he's going to be able to do that with, well, when he's back and healthy, the Landis Cogs of the world, the McKinnons of the world. Uh, you're going to be able to do it even with Yost um, as well. You're going to be able to do it with the new hooks of the world and all the catch there, Comfort. So I think he's going to fit into the team. Where, before we go on to Drew Hellison, where I envision them using Josh Manson, right now they actually have him with Ryan Murray, which is to work his way into the lineup since they have the two Johnsons together, which has actually worked out really well. Jack Johnson's had a, a tremendous season for Colorado, and Eric Johnson just has always had to be healthy in order to have a good season, and he's knock on wood, been that more this year than not. Uh, Devin Tays, Cal McCarr, great line. Ryan Murray. He just has been banged up, but a fine defenseman went on the ice. And Samuel Gerrard also is the guy that's supposed to be star starting. So eventually they're probably going to move Jackson, or, or Jack Johnson, I should say, maybe with Manson, and then put Gerrard back with Eric Johnson. But we'll have to see. But going forward, all, all in all, this defense was already good because they – I just said they put in Ryan Murray as a depth defenseman when somebody got injured. How many teams have Ryan Murray as a depth def as a guy that doesn't even play every game when people get injured? So that's just a perfect example there. Sorry for the plane flying over. But now when we move on to the Ducks side, Drew Hellison is a very good passer of the puck as a defenseman. But he's not just an offensive defenseman. We saw it while he played for the U.S. Olympic team amongst men. He can take the puck off of your blade. And even though he's not the biggest kid yet, he's only 190, like 6'2", he can still kind of hit you off the puck a little bit. He definitely showed that at the World Juniors playing against his own age in 2021 when he went off. And then in the Olympics for Team USA, he was still a very productive defenseman. Made, he may have only produced one point, but in those few games they were able to play before elimination, he was one of their most productive defensemen in terms of all facts of the game, whether it was moving it up effectively into the neutral zone to allow his forwards to do their job, whether it was getting the puck off of the attacker's tape, <clears throat> or it was making a nice play in the offensive zone himself, since that's the type of defenseman he is, continuously being a fantastic passer of the puck from the right side. And the guy that it seems like the Ducks prioritize keeping around over Josh Manson with this trade in Hampus Lindholm, he's paired with Jamie Drysdale as a great pairing right now. Obviously, a guy that um, has been subbed in a little bit for the Ducks uh, since that um, now is going to be Andre Schuster, but he's a veteran, so he's not going to be there long. And I would say that line with Cam Fowler, assuming Cam Fowler, which I don't see why he wouldn't, would stay on the Ducks until <clears throat> the end of that deal. I would say that might be the line in the future, you would see Hellison with, because Benoit, I liked in 39 games, uh, Simon Benoit uh, for Anaheim, but he's a young defenseman. It depends how ready he would be by the time Hellison comes up, because Hellison, to me, is not, he's already 20 years old, played three years at BC. He's not too far away, so I would say when it comes to the Ducks, 
Cam Fowler with Hellison. That seems like a perfect match made in heaven to start, just like they put uh, the great rookie with the great veteran Hampus Lindholm when it came to Drysdale. Put a very good rookie with a very good veteran in Cam Fowler. I think that'll work out for the Ducks big time going forward. And <clears throat> when it comes to Ducks fans, Hellison was a second-round pick. So you can also, if you want to look at it from the flip side as I close this video, you got two second-round picks for Josh Manson. That's a good haul for Josh Manson, who, again, very good defenseman, good at blocking shots, good physical defenseman, good at knocking guys off the puck, and also is underrated at being able to not pull like a Larson or a Gudis at times where he'll lose it in the, in the zone after getting it off and not get it up to his forwards. He's pretty solid at doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. He's pretty solid at doing that as well. But... This has been a quick video on Josh Manson going to the Colorado Avalanche for Drew Hellison and a second round pick. And let's um, please continue to subscribe down below to keep the channel growing to 215 by the end of March. I really appreciate you guys' love and support this for. Or up above on the easy to use widget. And if you want to check out any of the videos from the MLB offseason or that I did on hockey on Staylock, Michael McNevin being traded, AHL videos I do, ECHL or NHL, just go scroll back on the channel or look at the ECHL, AHL playlist, and it'll kind of organize them for you. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and peace out.